Section 1.5, Problem Solving Using Algebraic Models. Uh, on the slide, what you see is a diagram explaining a methodology or describing a methodology of solving uh, word problems. So they're suggesting write a verbal model, assign labels or assign variables to the quantities in the problem, write an algebraic model, which means write an equation, solve that equation, and then look at your solution, look at the question that the problem asks, and make sure that your solution actually answers the question being asked. In this example, on August 15, 1995, the Concord flew 35,035 miles from New York City to New York City, so flew around the world, in 31 hours, 27 minutes. What was the average speed? So the verbal model, this is a distance equals rate times time problem. I've got a distance of 35,035 miles. I have a time of 31 hours, 27 minutes. And I'm asked for the speed or the rate. So I'm going to take distance equals rate times time and solve it for the rate. So rate is distance divided by time. And now all I have to do is substitute. I'm going to substitute for distance, 35,035. And I'm going to substitute for time. 31 hours, 27 minutes, but I need to express that in a consistent unit, so I'm going to express it in terms of hours. 31 hours and 27 sixtieths of an hour. That, uh, that mixed number, I'm going to convert to an improper fraction. It becomes 1887 over 60 as an improper fraction. And then dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So 35,035 divided by 1887 over 60 is equivalent to 35,035 times the reciprocal, times 60 over 1887. Final solution is 1,114 miles per hour. So take a moment, pause this presentation, try number 11 on page 37. You are on a boat on the Seine River in France. The boat speed is 32 kilometers per hour. The Seine has a length of 764 kilometers, but only 547 kilometers can be navigated by boats. How long will your boat ride take if you travel the entire navigable portion of the Seine? Again, this is a distance equals rate times time problem. The speed or the rate is 32 kilometers per hour. I have two different distances, but the important distance for me is 547. It can be navigated by boats. And how long will your boat ride will take if you travel the entire navigable portion? So that's the distance I'm interested in, the navigable distance, 547. So I'm going to solve for time. So distance is equal to rate times time. Solving for time, time is distance divided by rate. Distance is 547, rate's 32, time is 17.1 hours. In this example, you drove 280 miles using 15 gallons of gasoline that cost $1.15 per gallon. If you get 24 miles per gallon on the highway and 16 in the city, how much did you spend for fuel for highway driving? and how much did you spend for city driving. So again, a verbal model. Well, my verbal model, I'm going to break it up into two pieces here. I've got highway driving plus city driving is equal to the total distance driving. And that distance, I'm going to express the distance in miles as the miles per gallon times the number of gallons. So for example, for highway driving, I get 25 miles per gallon on the highway times x, which is the number of gallons I used for highway driving. That's going to be a distance in miles. The gallons will cancel. I'm going to add to that the distance for city driving, which is 16 miles per gallon times the number of gallons for city driving, 15 minus x. x was used for highway, therefore 15 minus x is used for city. So again, the gallons will cancel, and this quantity will be in terms of miles, and that's going to equal the total miles driven of 280.
All I have to do now is simplify and solve this equation. So 24 times x plus 16 times 15 minus 16 times x. So 240 minus 16x equals 280. Solve for x. I get x is 5. X represents the number of gallons for highway driving, so 5 gallons for highway driving. 15 minus 5, or 10 gallons for city driving. Now to calculate the cost, well, the cost for highway driving, $1.15 per gallon times 5 gallons, 5.75 for highway driving. $1.15 per gallon times 10 gallons, $11.50 for city driving. So take a moment, read this problem, and take a few moments to try to solve it. So a fire truck is called to a scene. Three minutes later, a second truck is called. The first truck averages only 30 miles per hour. The second truck averages 60 miles per hour. The trucks together travel a total of 12 miles and arrive at the same time. How long from the first call did the trucks take to arrive and how far did each travel? So again, this is a distance equals rate times time problem. I have some rates in here, 30 and 60, a distance of 12. I'm asked for how long or how much time. I'm asked for a distance, how far. So in general, distance equals rate times time, but because I have two different rates and two different times, truck one and truck two, I'm going to separate that into two pieces, rate one or the rate for truck one times the time for truck one plus the rate for truck two times the time for truck two. So my distance is 12 miles per hour, rate one is 30, rate two is 60, T1 is the amount of time the first truck takes to arrive, T2 the amount of time the second truck takes to arrive. But I can relate T1 and T2 because it says three minutes later a second truck is called, but they arrive at the same time. So the second truck actually traveled three minutes, a three minutes shorter period of time. It left three minutes later, but arrived at the same time. So T2 is really equivalent to T1 minus three minutes, three sixtieths of an hour. I'm going to keep the units in terms of hours that reduces to 1 20th. So in my equation I can substitute or replace T2 with T1 minus 1 20th. So distance is equal to rate times time. I'm going to plug in the distance of 12 is equal to 30 is rate 1. T1 is my unknown. 60 is rate 2, the rate for truck 2. That time in terms of T1 would be T1 minus 1 20th take that equation, go ahead and solve for T1, comes out to be a sixth of an hour or 10 minutes. So then I can determine the distance for truck one. The distance, well, it traveled 30 miles per hour for one sixth of an hour, traveled five miles. The distance for truck two, well, truck two was traveling 60 miles per hour. It traveled seven sixtieths the amount of time was 7 sixtieths of an hour. It traveled 7 miles, and I can see that the total here, 5 and 7, is my total of 12 that I was given. So how long from the first call did the trucks take to arrive? From the first call, how long did the trucks take to arrive? They took 10 minutes. And how far did each travel? Truck one traveled five miles. Truck two traveled seven miles.